morning everybody Dwayne Lazar triple nickel dropper on our way out to Lindsay's I don't know if you can see that up there but there's a whole bunch of moose on the road four of them or five of them and those are shooters there's no doubt about it nice rock on that one and they disappear I don't know where they went Big buggers, they sure can disappear in a hurry. Oh, well, we're almost at Sawyer's, so. It's November 7th, Sunday morning, a little bit of frost. We're on the last ram at Sawyer's Cross, and guess what? That's right, another broken ram. I'm just gonna pick it up, the truck's right there, so. There's some shooters right there, boy. I'm having a hard time finding them. There's like three of them out there. Mama and her baby. And Papa on the other side. And there's one way back there too. So there's four here too. How can you not find moose? I just don't understand that shit. Another mouse in this color. We'll just add it to the box. Pretty scary coming around here, looking in here. Oh well. Pretty soon it'll be snow and we won't have to worry about those damn skunks anymore. I know you all get a kick out of the me not liking them, but I just don't want to smell like that for a month. Tom and Kim Bush. Oh man. Look at that. Ram's not even fired. Ah. Oh. I wonder what it was. Not gonna see any tracks in there. I kind of figured this would be a good one here. Huh, I'm gonna reset it, I guess. But I'm also gonna go down the trail a little bit and put another one. Just because I wanna see what's eating it. Man. Look like a nice little pale coyote, but from what I can see, eating right down to the neck, right to the snare. So, wonder if that was a cat or a wolf or more coyotes. I don't know. Well, we got hit here. Oh, we got hit twice here last night, and it looks like they tore him apart too. Damn it! KOD for sure. Man, you're pretty uh, torn to pieces. Look at that. Not salvageable. I guess with half your gut soil missing, you don't need a KOD. I had that tucked in between the rock and the tree there. Damn. Well, that's kind of a piss off. We got some pretty hungry dogs out here. They have to be taught a lesson. I can't put up with this. Those sets are right over there at the rock. Might even be able to see that one hanging in the tree. And I walked over here looking for trails. There's an old coat. A sole out of a shoe. There's another shoe over there. Uh, I wonder if they ate somebody out here. Well, they only had three rams on this side of the bush and they all got hit yesterday, so there's one. I'm not cleaning up any of this coyote fur or anything. I'm leaving it all right there naturally like it was. 
There's the second one in between the rock again. Ready to rock. And then one coming in. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going through. I moved it. I'm going to have to straighten it out. And the cow bush is a bust. You know, I really thought with the way the day started off, we were going to have some luck today, but apparently the only luck we're having is bad, so we shall carry on. I don't think we need anything on that bait pile. Well, there ain't much happening in that hidden house. A couple more up here to check. Uh-oh. I just seen something in the bush. Oop. Take a tree in the face. That one's not disturbed, but... Damn it. You're not eating or nothing, but... I did not want to catch box. Pretty little thing. Oh, we never tripped the ram. Are you dead or? Look pretty tied up. He's dead. Ah, oh, poop. I guess one every 30 coyotes isn't bad. Oh, I did not want that to happen. Oh, well, we'll make it back up. Get out to the gray bush. Well, I drove by this culvert again. Man, that's scary. That trap's out of the box. I don't see anything, damn it. Hey, there's a weasel. Okay. He's in the corner bear, okay. And he just knocked this one out. That's a big weasel, holy. Very big weasel. Well, nice. I was all worried there was a skunk in here when I saw that out here. Whew. There's a second weasel in this culvert. All right, I'm going to make this back up. I'm going to check the baits too. That poor bugger. You guys say trappers are cruel. Nature is way crueler than we are. He couldn't even get his front beat on the ground. He was choked out really quick, so. Man. Nothing salvageable on him. He's got a nice tail, but I got enough work without that, so. I already threw that head in there. So we'll throw this guy in there too, and once we get a little bit of snow on the ground, we'll burn that pit. Well, there's that weasel we caught yesterday. I just wanted to show you a size comparison of how much bigger this one is today. Quite a bit bigger. These big ones eat those little ones. Yeah. Got a fox hanging up, damn it. Not too happy about catching them, but what can you do? You're bound to catch a few of them, even though you're not setting for them. It's too bad he was dead. I would have let him go if he had been alive. Oh well, if those two dogs wouldn't have got eaten, it would have been not too bad a day today, but they did, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. Good morning, everybody. It's November 8th. We checked out the boxy bush and the Sawyer's Cross. Which, by the way, has the most dogs so far this year, but it put up another brick today. 
we're at the uh, culvert here gonna be really careful checking that and then we're out to the uh, Tom and Kim bush to see what happened there last night I'm a little concerned about my Lindsay bush today's day 11 since I caught a dog there and that just doesn't make any sense to me at all. I can't figure that one out. Oh man, I'm pretty much in the way here, no matter how I come down here. Nothing. Looks like something hit the other side. Another mouse. Well, we're on the west side. We checked the east side. It looks like a deer hit it, knocked it down. So these two here are good. I can't really see that one. I got to get a better look. Okay, it's all right. I killed a deer right here. Wow, and it's completely gone in one one night there's got to be a lot of them here there's no way wow i see some of it over there let's go a closer look there's dog shit in there it's a pretty big one for a coyote okay yeah there's some hide and backbone and Head. Well, I gotta think they'll be back. I can't believe they didn't spring any rounds, but there's an escape route there. Okay, well, let's check those other three we got just up a little farther. All right, we're just down the trail a little bit. There's some excitement here. Uh, a couple nights ago, so it doesn't look like anything back. I'm going to check that one I put in back here. Wow. It's tough moving around in here. And, damn it. Damn it. A red box that was set in here. Well, I can't imagine how scary that would be for you being out here with these monsters. Huh. I'm always taking a good look around before I get down and fix something. Well, we're coming down the Lindsay culvert here. I see the conibear on this end is not in the trap. Okay, it snapped out here. Ah, we got a double fail there. What's going on? I don't think there's anything in there. Just have a look before we go reaching in there. Ah, could be a little, a little mouse, or it could be a fox stuck his head in there. Uh, Lindsay bush here. We had one manage to slip this one. I'll make it back up. Huh. Just eerie quiet in here. Not even a raven come off this bait. I don't know what's going on here. Certain think Buddy threw another cow out or something. That's what they do. When they die, they just drag them out in the field, so... Well, there is plenty of bait at Lindsay's here. I'm not adding any more. I would have thought my little Brook Najuan set over there, it's the only one I got on the south. I would have thought it would have hit by now, but I guess not. 
what happened to Lindsay's? Not the gray bush. Apparently those moose are still hopping through here, smashing shit. All right, we'll leave that. I gotta hump some bait in here, I think, anyway. Man, I moved these arms in here so much already, I'm not even sure where they all are again. Okay, that one's still there. These ones are still there. I'm really surprised that one never connected in here. The one I can never see. It's right in front of me there. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be one more in the back over here. And I ain't seeing it. Ah, oh, damn. Well, I sent that job in Kim Bush. I got 14 rams in there now, 13 on the west, one on the east. I hump bait in there, and then what was left of that deer, the hide and everything, I threw it on top and spread it out to keep the damn birds off it until nighttime. I got a good feeling about that tomorrow morning, so right around that bait I got six of them, so. They're all not too far away on that west side, so I'm going to go get a load of bait for tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we got something tomorrow. Morning, everybody. We're at the Tom and Kin culvert. Nothing at Boxy's. Nothing at Sawyer's Cross again. Not a touched ram, nothing. The bait pile looks brand new. I am a little bit weirded out by skunks here, so. And we are set off on that other end again, but I don't see anything, so we'll fix this up and get over to uh, the Tom and Kim bush. That's really what I've been thinking about since yesterday, so hopefully we got something there. I'm on the first two here, where that one was eating right to the head, but I can see over there. We got a couple of movements. Maybe we got a couple, maybe just one bouncing around. We'll go check it out. I like the bouncing around part. That means he's not eating. Well, hopefully not entirely. Okay, we missed one here. I'll make that back up. Just trying to remember where they all are. It's nothing to make these up. Need another stick. Okay, let's go deal with this guy. Huh. Where are you? Oh, I don't like that. You're a crafty one, are you? Doesn't look like they touched the bait pile at all. I see you. Right there he is. He's going to be hard to get a shot that stays in his body. I got to get him to look at me, so. Beautiful sunny morning. Minus four out supposed to drop to six and then go back up so Thursday she's staying under freezing though below freezing so I keep losing them all right time to get in there and get dirty 
unfired ram. He still looks kind of perky here. But I'm sure he's dead. Well, he's all wrapped up. You're a beautifully furred dog. But I also know he did not eat a whole deer in one night by himself. We still got five more, I think. Five more down that row, so maybe we can double here or triple here even. Who knows? Okay, we'll make it up. You sure got beautiful guard here, though. All right. Damn, you just never know what you're going to catch out here. Ah, oh, and he is a big, big porcupine. But I don't think he wants to cooperate, really. I'm going to cut the snare, and it should work its way off of him. So, I guess, uh, let's see what happens. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Fuck, you almost got a broken anyway. It's okay. Hang on, buddy. Okay, let's see what he does now. Well, I don't run to the other one. Running right to the other power ram. Nope. And we released him. He didn't even set that off either. Whew. That was a little scary when he starts flipping his tail at me like that. Okay, I'm going to check these other ones. One more in here, so. We'll have to do a little landscape in there, but got her made back up. That one in there was hit too. I don't know what it was. It kinked the... Uh, snare up pretty good so it's probably a deer but we're not sure maybe a moose who knows as he's seen tom go by he's chasing cattle again they're all over this whole section here so damn just one here you know i had better uh thoughts than that of there but never touch the bait so i'm thinking they know it's there they only know where the one snare is there so we're at the Lindsay bush now. To say these snares have been cold would be a total understatement. There's just nothing happening. I saw Tom out at the bush there chasing his cattle back. I went and grabbed some birds from his house. He said he's selling his cattle because he uh, his dugout's dry. He's not hauling water this winter. He's going to open that bush up so I can get all the way around it. And I am looking forward to that. Just the one dog today, but as you can see, it is a beauty. Nice guard here on it. I managed to get in front of it and get a bullet right straight into it, so. All right, I went to La Roche yesterday for bait, and they had almost nothing there. But I was lucky enough to pick up a roadkill deer. And I enjoyed it because there was ravens all over it. You should have heard them bitch when I picked it up and threw it in the truck. How's that feel, you damn birds? Well, we're at the gray bush, added some bait here. He's stretched out about as far as he can go. A nice looking little red coyote. I'm gonna have to put him down. Uh, he's nodding out here, but if I would have been another 15 minutes, he would be dead, but we'll get to spot you and take care of him.
Well, it took a little bit of doing, but we got her. It's a strong trail. We've got a couple or three here now in this one. A couple little sighted tractors on the ground, feathers and whatnot. Should come right through there again. Pretty darn good looking dog. He's not a monster or anything, but he's probably a good 30 or 35 pounds. He's a nice dog. I never did get the spot you on him, so I just grabbed a leg bone and gave him a shot in the back of the head. That's all it took. He was out. All right, I got a couple. Uh, you probably remember those little sliver bush lines over here. I said a couple yesterday. Probably nothing there yet, but we'll go check them out. Get this guy on the truck with the other one. Well, that's day two without the cat, so he might have... Uh, Run into some bad luck. What's little chickadees? Good. I'll be feeding you guys all winter again. Well, until I come off the baits and go all blind, but. Okay, we'll rock through here and check this loop out. I forgot my Lindsay Culvert box, so. I might go back. Well, we put up another brick here, but. It's not overly surprising. I hear, uh and see lots of moose hunters out when i pulled in here there's even a group that has a dog barking like crazy out here so not sure that's legal hunting with a dog for moose but oh well a couple dogs today i was anticipating more but i never took any out of the deep breeze because i was thinking it was going to be a big day but it is what it is I'll throw some bait in here. Oh, little bridge. You guys keep moving forward till the next time. In case you're wondering, I did come back to check this one out. Well, that's strange as hell. Looks like they're both set off. That's got to be a fox. Damn. Guess who just locked their keys and their ignition in the truck? Oh, well, I called Pete. He's on his way in. He's got my spare key, so. And then my day's set. I want to try and get out and get bait, but we will see what happens.